All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. I'm coming to you from my home away from home in Pennsylvania. Just an FYI, I live in North Carolina, but I work in PA, which creates a situation where I put a ton of miles on my car. Trust me, all the state troopers between here and there, I know where you are. So anyway, and I know who you are. I want to do a real quick uh, video on an article that I read today in the Firearm Industry Trade Association, the NSSF, by a guy named Larry Keene. Hey, before we start that, a little advertisement here. I'm going to be doing a video on this guy right here. This is the Rapid Strike by Firefield. This is a 1 to 6 by 24 uh, rifle scope. Pretty neat reticle. Looks very familiar. <laughs> and, but uh, the idea is that if you're in getting into rifles, you need an optic and you're in a beginning position, this is not a bad position to be in. Really, really, really. Larry King writes, let's be honest, there's no real hope for Vice President Kamala Harris moderating her radical far left gun control ideas. In other words, she's come back and said, oh, no, 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 I don't mean all that. Oh, no, no, I never said that bullshit. Just like the jackass that she's hired for her VP appointment, right? He is a turd. Okay, and I'm sorry that I keep going on to the politics, but this is relating to our Second Amendment rights. He goes on to talk about uh, her de denying that they want to confiscate the modern sporting rifle. Yeah, right. Okay, we're banning it. We're going to ban it. Uh, they can ban it, and you know. But now what they're going to do is they're going to go with the mandatory buyback. And I guarantee that th there's somebody's going to be a jackass and go, "Hey, how about Cory Bush? Bye bye." And Ileana Omar, her ass is up next week, hopefully. Okay, Vice President Harris' own record on gun control. She owns the gun control efforts foisted on America, America's firearm industry over the past three years that includes the ATF's zero policy, tolerance policy, is seen on the retailers out there. So what happens is, is hey, listen, we're going to gut your business if we find that you've had leaning little clerical errors. All right, the article goes on. She continues to back an unconstitutional ban on modern sporting rifles and owns the Biden-Harris attacks on lawful firearm owners through an executive branch overreach when the administration published rules to redefine frame or receivers. Oh, I don't know. You know, here's the thing. We're just going to redefine exactly what we can do and what we can do at a whim. That is not how government was supposed to work, right? They're supposed to go through Congress whenever they make law. <laughs> At least that's what I thought. Let's not forget the White House's Office of Gun Violence Prevention, staffed by former Everytown federal lobbyist Rob Wilcox, overseen by Vice President Harris, making her the gun control czar. I wonder how that worked out for her. I just read something in here about, I think from the Trace, talking, or actually by uh, MSNBC, talking about what the ATF's outlook is on fire alarms and crime and talking about guns are mostly stolen. And you'll find out that the most crime is not committed with a modern sporting rifle. If they would go ahead and go after the people who are stealing firearms and doing the bad things, then they'll end up with a lot better outlook in life. Add to the list, she's also the chief beneficiary of Joe Biden's proposal to upend the U.S. Supreme Court with his proposal to do away with lifetime opponents and instead of limiting the term of 18 years, which would wipe out the three most senior and conservative justices who have ruled against unconstitutional gun control efforts. Well, I think what we should do is every uh, branch of the government, the judicial, the executive, and the legislator, I'm going to tell you something. So in other words, one branch can't go after the other branch, okay? So uh, without Congress making it law, you just can't go ahead and write rules. In other words, you have executive orders, but something like this is a constitutional change, okay? There's a reason why our founding fathers developed the First Amendment, the Second Amendment, the 14th Amendment, the, uh, let's see, our Bill of Rights, in other words. It, it's, it, it's amazing to me that these guys can just go ahead and think that they can change history of what our founding fathers intended for this country. It's amazing how smart they were. Gun control governor. All right, the next part of this thing is a gun control governor. Governor Waltz will only amplify Vice President Harris's gun control animus. In fact, just like Vice President Harris, Governor Waltz is a darling of radical anti-gun special interest groups. Billionaire Michael Bloomberg, every town for gun safe, are lauded him as 2023 state-level gun sense lawmaker of the year. 
wonder why that is. Probably because old Bloomberg gave him gazillions of dollars. It's supposedly beforehand he was uh, had an A rating by the NRA, and now he has an F, which he proudly boasts. This is interesting. The award was also given to Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker. No kidding. Who signed a law banning MSRs in his state and Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer. Oh, God, I want to throw up. Walt signed in laws in his state to require universal background checks, private parties to facilitate firearm transfers through a firearm retailer with an FBI and NICS check. He also signed a state red flag law and uh, author, uh, authorizing people to confiscate your firearms. Without due process, might I add. Okay, so we're just not gonna, I'm just gonna leave it there. We could go on and on and on and on. At the same time he signed a bill, he went on the attack against the Second Amendment right to keep and bear arms. More specifically, he urged a ban on MSRs, disparaging them as weapons of war, and saying they don't have a place in America. This guy, I just, I, I can't believe it. I, can't, I cannot honestly believe that people are going to vote for these individuals and there are people out there who will. I'm gonna include the article down below so you can read for yourselves. I gotta get busy doing reviews on things and uh, having fun shooting. So with that, Richard, I got your M14 fixed last night. It appears somebody uh, did not put that rifle scope mount on properly. Well, it's KB32. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. I was in them like this. Sport red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless us men, women, in uniform. 24-7 for our freedom, because freedom is not free. You guys get to see this. <laughs> I'm out of here. Y'all be good. Boom. <laughs> Man, what a cluster this video was, but it was necessary. See ya.